Hello dear viewers and welcome to T-World. Kindly hit the subscribe button and we will be on our way. In today's news, at the point when you hear the GOP chief reproving the January 6th Board of Trustees today, realize that he at first requested an exhaustive examination of the assault and that it not be cleared away from view, before choosing to simply allow Donald Trump to pull off everything. In May of 2021, when the House of Representatives was outfitting to decide on the development of a board to examine the occasions encompassing January 6, GOP pioneer Kevin McCarthy declared that he wouldn't uphold the possibly counterproductive and childish exertion, guaranteeing that any test that didn't likewise investigate irrelevant antifa uproars and fights against police ruthlessness was a joke, in the year in addition to since. McCarthy has kept on criticizing the advisory group as a treacherous, hostile to American activity of some sort, made rep. Liz Cheney an untouchable for filling in as the board's bad habit seat, and recommended that nobody ought to give any consideration to examiners' discoveries, presently. As the board prepares to have its most memorable ideal time hearing on Thursday night, McCarthy has just multiplied down. On Thursday morning, he tweeted, Speaker Pelosi's select committee on January 6 is the most political and least authentic panel in American history, and, as per CNN, he will regulate the designated reaction, I, twist, diversion, and falsehoods to the hearings collaborating with Donald Trump's legislative partners, given the House Minority Pioneer's residency as one of the previous president's most faithful numbskulls. No part of this ought to come as a shock, however. When you pay attention to McCarthy's assaults on the council today, tomorrow, and one week from now, remember that following the Capitol assault, he was about not just making quick work of what had occurred yet in addition rebuffing those dependable. What's more, we know this since, as such countless things McCarthy has attempted to imagine he never expressed. It's on tape, on Wednesday night. CNN broadcasted a brief snippet, kindness of New York Times journalists Alexander Burns and Jonathan Martin, in which McCarthy told individual Republicans, when they began breaking into my office, Myself and the staff got taken out from the workplace, in doing as such. I settled on a telephone decision to the president letting him know what was happening, requesting that he advise these individuals to stop, to make a video and go out. I was exceptionally extreme and extremely noisy about it. We can't simply hide this where no one will think to look. We want to know why it worked out, who did it, and individuals should be considered responsible for it. Furthermore, I'm focused on getting that done. Can't simply hide this where no one will think to look. We want to know why it worked out. Individuals should be considered responsible. It's nearly like McCarthy knew the reality of a brutal horde going after the U.S. Legislative center trying to upset a free and fair political race, which, in light of his own words, he accomplished briefly prior to recollecting the blood vow he took to allow Trump to pull off everything, including prompting a genuine revolt, obviously. This isn't whenever proof first has arisen that McCarthy momentarily considered making the best decision soon after the assault. Prior to reconsidering it, in April, Burns and Martin announced that in the quick repercussions of the mob, McCarthy told Associates, in two discussions, that Trump's conduct on January 6 was terrible and thoroughly off-base. That Trump was to blame for prompting individuals to go after the Capitol fabricating. That he was curious as to whether there was any desire for the then-president's bureau eliminating him from office by means of the 25th Amendment and that he planned to encourage Trump to leave, and keeping in mind that this would be all really humiliating for McCarthy assuming Republicans had any limit with regards to disgrace. Sadly, they don't, while the vast majority would lurk away in shame subsequent to being demonstrated. Endlessly time once more, to be an all-out hack. It's simply one more day for McCarthy and company. On Saturday, Trump embraced McCarthy for reappointment, composing on Truth Social. He is striving to stop inflation, deliver water solutions and hold Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi accountable for their devastating disappointments and neglect of obligation. Was that a thank you for his time of sabotaging the January 6th panel, an initial investment on his standing in opposition to the discoveries uncovered this evening, likely a touch of both, as Mother Jones Dan Friedman composed on Sunday. Trump and McCarthy appear to have made an agreement. McCarthy ceases from blaming Trump from endeavoring an overthrow or for impelling an assault that imperiled his legislative partners and Vice President Mike Pence. In return, McCarthy gets Trump's finished and complete support. If you have no standards, moral compass, or feeling of good and bad, it's an extraordinary exchange. If you made it to the end of the video, kindly hit the subscribe button and leave a comment, it helps the channel.